please click the subscribe button and the notification icon. It will help us a lot. I mean, the main thing is, is to keep practicing, try to be original, try to stand out, um, try and do something that nobody else has. I mean, I see a lot of people these days that do amazing models, but they're based on other people's drawings, which is all good and well if you want to improve your modeling skills and you want to get a job modeling other people's designs, which even, even I do is my paid job. You know, I model other people's designs. But if you just if you want to stand out and you want to make something that's like, wow, this is all my work, do your own thing as well. Because if you model somebody else's design, the main thing that makes that cool is the, the other person's design, and that's not yours, if you know what I mean. So it's, it's kind of hard to, it's, it's more satisfying to create something completely from scratch because you can say you designed it and you modeled it rather than you just modeled it. But it, it's, it's difficult because if you can show your ability to take someone's concept and model it, that is a useful skill for employers. But yeah, I mean, I guess the best thing you can do is just keep practicing, stand out, try to present your work more interestingly. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there that's just tea poses or wireframes, and it's all useful. But if you want to woo somebody and you want to make your work stand out, try and do something with it, pose it, give it some personality, bring it to life. You know, backgrounds or uh, composition, just do something to make it more more of an image rather than just an example of you making a model and putting it on a blank background you know so yeah but it's just it's difficult to stand out now because so many people want to do 3d but I've, there's still a lot of really really good artists out there so just basically get good <laughs>